a little bit late in the day. Well, I say it's like 10 to 11. Some of my friends don't wake up until now, but it's late for me. Usually I would be in uni by now doing work, I guess, but I don't actually have to be in uni on Mondays anymore. Like it's just independent study, but I do have this meeting with a tutor later because I'm a student rep. <laughs> don't really know what that means we can make things better on our course like if my friends say like they don't like something about the course I can like relay it back to the tutors and they'll sort it out so I'm gonna go to that with a couple of my other friends who are also reps for once I just let myself have a bit of a lie-in until 9 30 <laughs> like why am I so rigid with myself I don't know I wish I just let myself sleep <laughs> I had a really full on weekend slash like the whole of last week so I just I didn't want to go into uni this morning but I do want to make something of my day like I want to do some type of work and I do have to sort out a few things like emails so right now I just thought I'd do a bit of makeup because it always makes me feel like doing something I also just popped three spots <laughs> because I am at the end of my period and my skin always like flares up at the end or like a week before we're just gonna cover it up we're just gonna help it a little bit but whilst i was doing my makeup i thought it would be nice to have a little catch up with you because i literally haven't posted a video in i don't know like 20 something days i'm really sorry i'm really sorry when i tell you what i've been up to then that might explain january was very busy for me i was in ireland twice i went to belfast at the start for new year's to see my friends that i used to live with and that was amazing and i caught up with so many people and we had so much fun but it was very tiring so yeah and then as soon as i got back from that i had to go straight back to work had to i wanted to go straight back to work because i wanted more money and i love working where i work i genuinely love it and at the same time i was trying to write the first essay that i've written in five years because i left school five years ago and didn't go straight to uni and so that was really difficult for me because i didn't really feel like i knew what i was doing kind of forgotten all of the the techniques of writing why is my nose so red <laughs> i had to get an extended deadline which was fine like it wasn't hard and you know what i'm actually quite happy with how it turned out i don't get feedback until march hopefully it's okay i also had to finish loads of coursework for my other tutor's unit of work and to be honest like i was just so done with that unit he upset me a little bit last term to me when it was just one-on-one -on -one, he was like yeah your work's amazing and then in our group crit like in front of the whole class he was like your work is too cute it only belongs on etsy i was just like ah. <laughs> what the fuck do i say to that i was so embarrassed i actually had to leave that session early because i was crying <laughs> usually i'm really good with criticism i can take it on board and like improve myself he didn't actually give me any constructive part to the criticism he just criticized me and i am that personality type i think it's number three or something that wants everyone to like them i'm a big teacher's pet i felt like he was being mean to me and um i got upset anyway i was so over this unit by now and i just wanted it to be done so i don't think i've done very well in it because i haven't really showed any progression i've just done art without really any meaning but I just don't care anymore but that's done it's given in i don't have to think about it anymore which is good that does mean we've moved on to our next units three of them i thought there was just gonna be two one of the units is like a collaborative thing with our local zoo which is kind of fun but that's a 30 credit unit so it's quite big and it means a lot the other two units are 15 credits each even though they're just 15 they sound like a lot of work so i don't really know what's gonna happen there it's only my first proper week back at uni there's a lot of strikes from the teachers this week so don't really know what's going on on top of all of that i've been going out way more with my friends i went to dublin with katie for the weekend we actually went specifically to see the 1975 because she had tickets with her friend but he dropped out i got his ticket thank you i didn't have to pay anything apart from like obviously getting there and i spent so much money whilst i was there but i had the best time if you want to see like part of our trip i've made some tiktoks about it i'm trying to be more active on tiktok okay like i actually think it's quite fun i'm gonna try and do way more book content on there and also like just fun life things i also got a new tattoo oh, i've wanted one of these for so long it's a postage stamp but 
It's really cute because it is the Belfast flower. The little price that I put on it is my old flat number with my mates. That's forever in my heart. It's also my first stick and poke and it was so quick. It was at Inner Self Studios in Black Rock. We ate a lot, we went out and that was last weekend. Yeah, since then I've just been out a couple times which is so irregular for me. I usually just go out maximum like once a week but i saw the avatar movie on wednesday and then i went for drinks with my work friends because some of them are leaving two days ago i went for more drinks because one of my friends that i met in belfast who goes to liverpool uni was here we stayed out way too late i think i got in at like 4 30 or 5 and then i had to get up for work at nine o'clock and I was on a closing shift yesterday. So that was so hard, <laughs> honestly, sucked. And I'd already done a full day shift on Saturday as well. I'm just exhausted already. And I also don't have any money left. I'm also like trying to be dating and stuff. So I've been on a few hinge dates. Look, this is why I haven't been posting on YouTube, <laughs> but I, I don't want to neglect this channel like i love it and i love interacting with you guys one of you came up to me in dublin inez inez came up to me and she was like i watch your videos and i was like oh my god that was really sweet so thank you for saying hi but yeah like i just love talking to you guys so i don't want to not do youtube i want to vlog this week hi this is this video i didn't even say that i'm just gonna show you what i've been getting up to i've been speaking for a really long time so that was a quick little update i'm gonna continue getting ready and i'm gonna sort out my hair and then get back to you on whatever whatever i'm doing but it feels really good to be sitting down and filming again <laughs> meeting obviously was not gonna film in there i 
I haven't filmed in uni before because I'm too embarrassed. So I did only a little bit today. The rep meeting was good and it's way more chilled out than I thought it would be. And then I did some research for this project that we're doing about like wildlife in Manchester. So yeah, I was just doing some research on little birds and plants and stuff. I really need to do a lot more, but I'm really tired. I could have just done some now, but I was trying to sort out this commission that I did for a band in Belfast. I designed their merch, which is so exciting. This band is called Casual Riots. They're gonna like make t-shirts and lighters and I don't know, with my design on it. Yeah, the file that I sent them wasn't working so I just fixed it. I'm too tired to kind of do any more sit down at my desk but it is only half eight so I think I'm gonna dye my hair. As you can see my hair is in need of dyeing but I don't think I want to do ginger again. I mean I do, I love ginger and I think I'll come back to it but the other day I bought some red hair dye so I think I'm gonna dye my hair red right now. I really hope this works and turns out okay because red is such like a bold move. I'm kind of scared. It could look really shit. What if it looks shit? If it looks really bad, I'll just dye it back to brown. Oh, and I also hate filming in my kitchen downstairs because it's just a mess all the time. So I have had dinner, but I just didn't, didn't show you guys. Sorry. I'm gonna make a TikTok about me dyeing my hair now. Um, I've rinsed out my hair which took so much longer than when I do it with ginger hair dye and now I've just got the like intensive mask on my hair. I feel like we'll see the full effect in the morning when my hair's fully dry but I'm excited. I think it looks it looks quite good so far. Right now I'm just gonna read my book, do my hair and go to bed and have uni tomorrow so I'll take you with me. I don't even know if you can hear me, but I was in uni from like 10 till 3 p.m. with no break. I could have had a break, but I just didn't. Because when I'm on a roll, like with my art, I just don't really want to stop. I just went to Boots to go and get some more hair dye to sort my hair out. And a perfume from Zara. I just heard they had some good ones. So I tried them all out. I think I found an all right one. I'm really struggling for money right now, so I don't really know why I'm doing this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go home now and I'm gonna try and do some more 
research for this unit that I was working on today. red like it's for sure red now <laughs> um let me know in the comments what you think of my hair i don't know it's fun i can feel a difference in my curls from literally yesterday they aren't as like springy i know you shouldn't use box dye i also don't want to be spending hundreds of pounds at a hairdresser's when i can do this myself and the good thing about curls is that i think it hides imperfections a little bit more that is the hair update it's wednesday today i have work at 5 p.m i have about five hours until i have to leave i woke up at 8 30 and it's taken me two and a half hours to like get out of bed <laughs> and have breakfast i think i'm still really tired from the weekend i think what i need to do in the future is just like take one day fully to do nothing just lie in my bed and fully recover and then I can have the rest of the week rather than trying to recover incrementally each day but it's fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> I need to do some more animal research which I'm so excited about um, and I also want to do some work on my visual thinking unit it's basically we get to choose the text and I chose one by Murakami because you know I love Haruki Murakami yeah it's about a monkey I'm making it really like dark and sinister which is something that I don't really do I also want to film a book video today which is gonna be pushing it but if I don't do it today then I won't have a video for this Sunday and I don't want to not give anything to you guys and not that it's just for you guys like i enjoy doing it obviously but i just want to try and be more consistent on youtube so i'm gonna try my best it's probably gonna be a shorter video though so i hope you don't mind I think they're like sneaky and cute <laughs> and I think they'll be really fun to draw and possibly animate as well. I don't think I'm 
just gonna do foxes i'll probably find some other animal as well i've done some like really basic research but i have to stop now i'm not gonna be able to do that motifs and metaphor thing today why did i wake up so late oh this is the really hard thing about juggling three different projects at once it's like you get really into one and then you just have to stop but yeah for the next two weeks i'm gonna continue researching things and then i'm gonna start my experimentation weeks and i don't know what that's gonna consist of but we'll see <laughs> out of work an hour and 15 minutes late um i was only scheduled on until 10 but the event that we were doing ran over but it was a cool event it was like a university drama team team group whatever they'd made their own play and performed it for their families and friends and stuff um and it was really good but i'm shattered now and i've got uni in the morning so I'm just gonna go home. My friend did invite me to go to a gig and also I just saw my other friend like in the middle of the street and she was like, come out for a drink. <laughs> but I need to say no. I need to learn to say no when I need to say no. Cause I'm supposed to go out tomorrow evening and also on Saturday, it's a friend's birthday. So yeah, I don't wanna like tire myself completely out. <laughs> so long you've been so tough you've kept it up you've kept me up been standing tall keeping strong and i'm doing well i'm eating more and oh you might day is it today it's saturday evening i think i last filmed on thursday yeah my friend came for dinner yeah we just chilled and it was really nice and then i literally did nothing on friday nothing i stayed in bed all day i was supposed to go to uni <laughs> and i was also supposed to do work some like research and stuff um i managed to do like a tiny little bit but not as much as I should have. My hair is not cooperating. God, what the fuck is this? You know what? I needed it because this whole week has just been a bit manic. The past few weeks have just been a bit manic. And I can feel myself getting sick, to be honest. So last night as well, I, I forgot to film. I could have filmed this easy because Katie's like 
so normal with being on camera and stuff but i went to her house i'm a bit of a mess right now sorry i'm in a rush but yeah i went to katie's because she lives in the accommodation literally like right opposite me and we ordered a takeaway because we were both just shattered she had gone out the night before to this gig and had like met the band and stuff and been hanging out with them so she had a really rough night so yeah we just ordered chinese and watched love island which i haven't watched since like the third season it was shit but it was also like good shit you know just trash tv i tried this fully vegan chinese place on just eat and it was actually like pretty good anyways that was my friday so sorry i didn't film anything today i just had to go to work i was in nine till five so again <laughs> like no time to film the reason i'm putting on makeup is because it is my friend's boyfriend's birthday today. So I'm gonna go over to their house in Chalton to, yeah, hang out, have some drinks, chat. I shouldn't stay for too long because like I said, I feel like I'm getting sick and I also have work tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. I never get to see Polly and I really wanna see her. So I am gonna go, even if it's just for like a couple hours and then I'll come home, hopefully. Come on, Coco, you can do it willpower i'll come home early oh god my skin just got like really awful maybe it's the chinese i'm gonna put on some music and finish getting ready and i'll show you what i wear at the end